look what just arrived you guys my coffee table i'm so excited i'm going to build her okay guys i just built it but the bottom one over here you can put wheels on it oh my god she cute she's really cute um you can put wheels on her but i didn't want to because i feel like it looks clean um, but I'm going to be putting some vases that I have, like some accessories I already have, but I'm going to play around with it. The only thing I might do is get a lighter carpet than I have right now. And she's the perfect size. There was like so many 36 inch diameter ones, but I feel like the 31 is perfect for me. Um, just because I didn't want to close in the space too much. But yeah, I can't wait to give this living room a little bit of a mini makeover. This top part is very matte. And I just loved how it was very like kind of dual use. You can have two in one basically. And a lot of them were so expensive. I got this one for 130 on sale, which is amazing for two tables. I got this from Lowe's. I didn't know that you guys had that in the States. I totally thought it was like a Canadian company, but a lot of them were like 400, 500. And like I was telling you guys, I switched my decor like a lot. So I just didn't want to get something too expensive. The other thing I love about this one is, see this opening over here, obviously because of the second table. If I want to sit on the floor and film like a makeup look with you guys, that is just like, that's just everything. I, um, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Thanks. God, I love her. I took out the one from underneath because I was also thinking maybe not using the second one there. I can also use that somewhere else. You guys are going to die, but I'm like, oh, that'd be such a nice side table when I'm taking my baths. Like... You know when you like, I don't know, I think I'm the only one that brings a lot of things with me to my bath. It's like a very stone kind of finish. It was at HomeSense. That's where I find all of my vases. Oh my god, this also looks really cute. Having my cute girl Audrey over here with a little candle on the side. Ooh, that looks cute too. You guys, I just love decor and I changed my mind so much. Hello babes, it is Saturday and I just did my makeup because I'm supposed to be going out with my mom today. This is kind of like my quick weekend look. I've been having like chest pains. Like, do you guys get that? I think this like seasonal depression is just like causing me a lot of anxiety. And I'm just like, but I got this box from Amazon. So my kind of dilemma, obviously, as you guys know, having an apartment or condo is obviously space. And for me with my makeup, before I had like a whole like vanity section where I had all my makeup, which I still have room for and I can do here. But I never was the type to do my makeup in my um, in my bathroom. But now that I'm like such a neat freak, I'm just like, no, I don't want makeup in my bedroom because like I saw what it did to my dresser when I used to do my makeup like that. I like that the mess is there. Anytime there's like any fallout, any makeup falls or anything. But the issue is I just have that little vanity and everything underneath is like feminine products. I have hair stuff. I have... Um, any medical supplies I need like band-aids stuff like that um, cotton pads all those things underneath I've been doing is putting my makeup on top of like this little drawer organizer I have in my bathroom But the problem with that is like every time I do my makeup It's kind of like first of all, it's like out in the open So it's literally like this and I kind of want to go through my makeup and see what I want to get rid of I got a bunch of new products drugstore and some from Sephora that obviously I'll be keeping those because I love them all um but yeah, I thought I would organize my makeup with you guys. Okay, so this is what I have for makeup, okay? This bin has been really cute and everything, but like everything is just out in the open and it's just not practical whatsoever. Um, so basically this tray came with me from my old place. Um, this is great for like everyday kind of things. Like if you absolutely use this every single day, it's a really great tray to kind of put your basic needs if you don't want to take out this whole entire box. You can open it, take out what you want for that specific makeup look, and bring this anywhere you want. So let's say I decide that day I want to do my makeup somewhere else, or I don't want this big box on the counter. These are really, really great for also, um, what is it called, foundation. So you guys can see they stand up really nicely, and you guys can actually see what colors. So it's a really super cute organizer that I would recommend if you guys don't wear a lot of makeup like me, or don't have a lot of space, or actually if you do have space... Um, and you have drawers and you line these up. It's really really great Over here. It's kind of lip products, but it's turned into like I, Honestly you guys that's the thing with me. I'm either I, I will always tell you guys I'm black and white So I'm either full on organized or I am not at all That's just me. That's just my personality 
So I kind of want to go through everything and see what I want to get rid of. So maybe that's what I will do. And then I'll show you guys what I'm keeping and what I'm kind of letting go of. Um, but let me show you guys a close-up of this. Of course, y'all already know. I'm going to link this for you guys. So what I loved in particular, there's so many different ones, but I knew I wanted a really large one. Um, so this one is large, and I can leave the specific size I got down below because there's always a few options when you're ordering with them. Um, but one thing I loved about this one, I don't think I'm going to be using this. So you can open this up over here. Never know. When you start organizing, you're like, oh, I will use it. So this can honestly be for, I don't know, products that I barely use or maybe extra palettes that don't fit inside of here. It has this extra like mesh zipper over here and it also has like extra um, kind of holders over here. I saw like people putting hair, um, what's it called, hair equipment on there, like straighteners and curlers and stuff like that, but I won't be doing that. Um, so it's just going to be more for like extra storage for me. And then over here, what I loved is this is a section for all of your brushes. And I might be doing something duo over here where I will put the brushes, but I might also put like some other products too. So it comes with this Velcro kind of cover, which I love because, and it's also wipeable. You see how this is like super shiny? So all of your brushes can go over here and obviously they're dirty with foundation, eye products, obviously if you don't clean them right there and then. So all that dirt is going to go on this, which you can easily wipe. That's what I loved about it. Also comes with this on this side, which is amazing. What did I put in here? Oh, it has like the extra dividers or maybe brushes that you don't use, but you might use. That can be a little extra compartment. Then over here, these guys are removable. This is so much fun. I'm doing like a full review for you guys. Um, yeah, so these are removable dividers. So basically you can kind of divide it how you want depending on the different palettes. For example, I was afraid this wasn't going to fit in here. Damn it. So palettes like this, I have two options. I can move this guy out of here. And what I can do is put him a little bit closer. So this can be like just for palettes if I want to. And then I can kind of do this. Um, this one's also removable too, right? This big one? I believe it is, yeah. Yeah, it is. So I can move it or whatever and I can bring this over here and make this all like a palette kind of section. I have a few palettes, not a lot, but I think I have enough to do that. So I might do that for that one. This palette is gorgeous, you guys. I don't know if it's going to be live by the time this vlog goes up, but it's, um, coming out March 8th and this is their... Too Faced, um, Born This Way, The Natural Nudes, and Amy gave it to me. She's like, I have so many palettes. I'm like, I'll take it, girl. It is really, really pretty, you guys. I'm actually playing with a lot more like warm colors now, and I realize how much they suit me. And plus, I also saw on Amazon that you can buy extras of these too. So let's say something happens to them or whatever, you can also order them. Um, something I wanted was for it to be tall enough, like for products like this, so that it doesn't like stick up too much. But I noticed when you close this, it actually gives you a little bit more height, like it kind of um, expands a little bit. So thank God. So stuff like this, like when you close it, it'll still be tall enough. I'm really super excited and I really hope everything fits, but if it doesn't, I was thinking of putting like maybe lip products separately. So let's say all my face products fit in here, but lips and stuff don't fit, then I can always get like a case for just my lipsticks. Oh, someone's calling me. That was my mom. She's on her way. So yeah. The other major thing I forgot to show you guys is you'll notice that everything was like held up by these two little straps on the side. I noticed a lot of the other ones did not have that and it's going to be super convenient because when I put it on the counter, you can like easily take out a brush. Whereas the other one, it's literally going to flap all the way backwards, which is super annoying. Um, comes with this handle over here. I didn't realize I didn't finish showing you guys. Also came with a strap, but I just detached it and you can add that on there. If you're like a makeup artist, this is like really great. Or if you're just starting, I'm super excited to like organize everything you guys like and just have this done because this is just a disaster. Hello babes. It is Sunday. So yesterday I got just a few things. I got new Lululemon leggings. Um, I got them the same align but i got it in a size six i feel so tired today and all i did was put on um foundation which i went to walmart yesterday to get um another color in the birth bees foundation that i've been using and i really really like it so the reason why by the way i'm looking for new glasses is because they got scratched while i was in la 
dropped them so they got scratched on the pavement I want to get new glasses anyways and kind of over this style and I feel like I want a darker pair I've been looking online at a bunch of different places but what I like to do is order the frames online what I like to do is order the frames online and then I take them to my eye doctor and get the lenses done there because it just I don't know I've tried to order my lenses online and I don't know if it's just because of my prescription or whatever but it just never turns out right like it's not perfectly clear when I get so many questions on these frames and they're from I buy direct and they are the aura I'll leave the link down below and they're the champagne color that I have um, these ones are a little bit more round and I kind of want the more square kind of shape just so that it's like super classic and I'm super picky because I want the keyhole like see how this has like a dip so that it doesn't leave a mark on the top of my nose I can't stand that because like you get super like you get like a red line I've also heard you can buy glasses that have a, like a particular bridge so that you don't get that but I have to like look into it more to Walmart I went to go get my other tan color I'm actually wearing it right now and it matches me perfectly and I'm currently like tanned I'm not like super dark but I'm this is like my tan shade that I like to be yeah this is the goddess glows I thought it was glow I've always been saying goddess glow yeah, I have linen beige, which is 1030, and then whoa, and then I have warm honey 1045. And I just know that I love this foundation, and it's so hard to found, find foundations that I love, you guys, because I have such dry skin. Over here, you guys, are all of my lipsticks, all of my lip products. And so I think I might get like an external case for this. Oh, I also got this yesterday that I wanted to show you guys. So I picked up the Burt's Bees. Um, toothpaste because it's like a natural toothpaste obviously I don't like the flavor so I'm really really picky about like the scent and the flavor of the toothpaste and I like that fresh blue mint even like when I chew gum it has to be the light blue pack that's like my favorite one from Burt's Bees is like that white mint I don't know how to describe it it's just very I tried it once and I was like no they do have other scents and flavors but I particularly got that one like that's the one I just picked up this one I got by Schmitz. If you guys don't know, Schmitz is like my favorite um, underarm deodorant um, company. And I have the rose vanilla from them. I love theirs. I love the native one. And I love the live clean. So I love all of those. This is really, really like pretty supernatural. And I love this scent and flavors. Anyways, just get the blue one. There's like different colors. But I used it once last night. And I was like, this is the flavor I love. You guys want to try it out pick it up um this was from walmart if you guys want to try it out oh yeah i got like um a heel um like scrubber like but it's not really a scrubber like the grater like that like takes off the dead skin off of your heel this is my heel that's why i'm going like this i, I use my hands a lot and i like visually want you guys to like see what i'm talking about um so i got that and i did my heels yesterday in the bath and i was like oh my god it feels so good and they're so smooth it really works um and then i got like the file for the heel to like again this is my heel right here i'm actually watching a new show right now called um i don't know if you're supposed to pronounce it like the spanish way but if you say it the non-spanish way it's um gentified but maybe it's gentified in spanish but i like it it's on netflix it's really cool it's mostly in english but like obviously there's like certain spanish parts but it just helps me learn a lot more so i've always loved like spanish shows but check it out, it's really super cute, it's about a family and it's just very like hometown kind of vibe and everybody has like their own story and things that they're going through and I just think it's really super cute so check it out and there's also like funny parts too, like I feel like it's so funny. My entire makeup collection fits within this, in this box, like did you guys ever take that in? Like that's how much makeup I have, just enough to fit in this box. Um, and I'm the type to like if I get something new then I will get rid of something that I haven't used or that I've used so much and I kind of want to switch it out for something else. But I don't like to keep a massive, massive makeup collection. And then this is kind of the pile of the stuff that I'm getting rid of. So these foundations are just super old. That's the only reason why I'm getting rid of them. You guys, I love these products, but the reason why I'm also getting rid of them is because I've had them for such a long time. And then these milk concealers, I have another one from Milk, um, another color, and I feel like I use these colors less. So I'm getting rid of those. I told you guys I got this, the Smart Shade Anti-Aging Skin Tone Matching Makeup, but I didn't like it. It kind of makes my skin dry. This is by Tristique. I have the mini, actually. 
right over here that I love. This is Venetian gold is the color, and these are like their eye crayons, but this is like literally almost run out, so, so I've organized it by eye palettes, bronzers, foundations, highlighters, contour, concealer, mascaras, some finishing powders, and then I have some eyeliners and like eyebrow products my finishing and then my some extras in there and then i have my brushes to organize so let's put all of this inside of this box foundations in here this guy is like my favorite it's running out but i'm just keeping it inside of there i like to use it for when i want to make my foundation darker yeah you know what these are not like my absolute i did use them and i do like them but i want to keep like my essentials kind of thing um, these guys I love it. This is actually an extra that I have I love traveling with these because they're so super light this guy I just can't give up on because everybody says it's so amazing including Amy and I'm just like can I I want to believe it's amazing this guy I love so much. It's tinted um, uh, Sunscreen and I like to, I like to use it when I'm like super pale or even just under my foundation by La Roche Posay I'm gonna put these guys inside of here. I love these Anastasia foundation sticks and I have it in fun and in mink and makeup revolution a super size conceal and define heart shape tape that's when like my under circles are like super bad and I flex concealer i have this one in light by milk and these guys i love so much the drugstore one uh, maybelline uh, concealer fit me and i have number five and number 15. i love this by hourglass this is the luminous bronze light love it so much like it's literally the only bronzer i've been using lately this i absolutely love this is the um by nude sticks and i i want to get like more of their stuff to be honest this one is in hey honey and this is like a bronzing stick i love to put this like all over my cheek and when i travel this is like really really good this is like another twisty kind of stick that i love to use sometimes i will put this all over my lid but you can also use it as a bronzing stick or highlighting stick and eye palettes. So this one, like I mentioned to you guys, is not out yet. But I want to try it out. I actually used it on my eyes yesterday. I used this color over here, which is called Nude. Uh, duh, like, of. And then I used Maple. So I mixed both of them. And then I put a little bit of this on my lid as well. But it's really pretty and I want to play around with it a little bit more. This guy is like the OG. This is if you really want an all matte kind of like neutral palette for your eyes. This Buxom palette I love too. Which one is this guy? This is the Suede Seduction eyeshadow palette. I, I believe I brought this to LA because this is like a really good kind of again like all basic nude kind of palette. This one I love. I found it at Winners. I showed you guys and I love it because I'm playing around with more kind of warm tones now and I feel like it's such a good palette. This beautiful little melted chrome by Essence. It's so freaking beautiful you guys. I showed you that I got it in my other vlog. This is too ironic. It's so freaking beautiful and it's buttery. I don't want to dirty my finger but it's so buttery. And then the Tristique stick again in the Venetian gold. I like to keep it because this is such a good like travel mini stick. It's obviously the Laura Mercier famous translucent powder. I don't really use setting powders. I do use her in summer a lot because you know you get a lot more like sweaty and oily. And then Amy told me that this one is so good so I bought it um, a while ago. The Infallible Pro Matte. This beautiful Milani um, trio kind of highlighter set it is so freaking nice you guys and the pigment is like really amazing for a drugstore product and then i have these milk highlighters i actually don't know if i'm going to keep both but my favorite i believe is lit this one's more of the bronzy tone iced this one is more gold whereas the other one's a little bit more bronzy like look how clean that is like the white it's so nice my god this is the og i can't get rid of her because i just can't and to be honest with you i haven't been using her like lately opal by becca i'm actually putting blush in this same section because i don't have like that many highlighters this is a milani um blush this is a luminoso i like kind of the peachy tones when it comes to blush I really love this and i use this in my get ready with me i did a peachy look with you guys if you haven't watched that make sure you guys do um and put that like that and then this guy over here is the palette i was showing you guys is this one that i was getting rid of so blush and highlighter combo persecco pop and amaretto so mm, everything is looking cute it's looking cute so then over here this is my favorite mascara the um telescopic and then i'm putting the maybelline lash sensational on the other side i have a Marc jacobs one this one is so like such a full mascara 
And then this is the Voluminous by L'Oreal. My eyeliners, I'm going to stick them inside of here just so that it's really easy to kind of pick them up. This is my favorite by Essence. Um, it's called First Espresso, and it's a really beautiful gel, um, gel eyeliner, and I have two. And I have this one too, a liquid liner. This is the Revlon Color Stay Sharp Line. This guy I used to cover up my gray hairs. This is by, who's this by again? Mineral Fusion. So it just has like a, a wand that you can cover up your roots with. This is my favorite, favorite foundation brush that I use right now. Bare Minerals, beautiful finish. This part is gonna like give you that airbrush and kind of blend everything out. And this one is more dense. It's gonna pack on the actual foundation. This guy, as y'all know, is the monster of all uh, Tarte airbrush. This was the Morphe palette. I wasn't sure if I was gonna keep because honestly, I haven't been using it, but I used to use the powders and stuff. I feel like in the summer, I might use her. And this guy, oh my God, I literally like ran through this thing. This is the Bella Pierre contour, but I think it's time to get rid of her. My sponges, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. I can put them inside of here if I really want to, but I think I would line this so that, you know, the foundation doesn't get it dirty. This is also by Bare Minerals, and I used to use this one a lot. It actually comes with a cover, but I don't know where. I do like this one for when I go, like, traveling too, so it's another one of my favorites. So, um, those are going to be all my eye brushes. I, these brushes are definitely a must this has got to go here oh my god you guys i think that's it so i put my extra brushes in there and my extra little contour sticks and i'm gonna close this up and show you guys everything on the inside how good does this look i can't believe my makeup is all organized i feel like this is like my basics collection and everything that i absolutely love right now and before i forget to mention and i think for the rest of the day today i'm just going to relax and just kind of literally take a nap because i'm so tired and honestly you guys i have been having dreams every single night and i'm not even exaggerating every single night and i think it's because mercury's in retrograde it's funny because when i read on it it said that you will daydream a lot more than usual um and we all know all the other side effects of it which is they're just lovely um but yeah, so it says you'll daydream, but like daydreaming is just a part of being a Pisces. So I don't really notice a difference with that, but I'm not like daydreaming like an extra amount or anything. But my dreams, like it's every single night. It is crazy. And I barely ever dream. Like it is so nuts. Every morning I get up and I'm like, what was that? Hopefully you guys enjoyed this vlog and I'm gonna continue of course doing my living room transformation but I, I'm glad you guys got to see like my new coffee table and how everything looks. I'm like in love with it still. I do not regret it whatsoever. If you guys enjoy these vlogs, let me know down below. If you're new, welcome to the channel and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Click that notification bell so you guys get notified every single time I post a brand new video. Don't forget to leave some love down below in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see all of my beautiful babes in my next video.